Hey guys, Pete from Crunch Time Coaching, and if you wanna hit a bigger forehand a lot easier, then you're gonna to need to learn the perfect unit turn on the forehand. So if you're ready, let's get started. All right guys, so let's, let's talk about what the unit turn is. The unit turn is the way that you get ready to hit a forehand or a backhand, but we're specifically talking about the forehand today. And I wanna teach you uh, a modern unit turn that I learned from Dr. Mark Kovacs, who's worked with the, the leading American players, professional players. And so I wanna make sure that you really watch this video to the end, that you don't take it for granted, because I actually learned a lot from Dr. Mark Kovacs when he taught me this. So first of all, a unit turn is very simply, when you see the ball come, rather than turning and making that move with your arm and dominating play with your arm and not really including your body, that you see the ball come and you're moving the entire unit to prepare for the tennis ball. That's what most people know the unit turn as. But I wanna teach you the modern unit turn and something called the Coke bottle uh, turn here. So what I find is that a lot of people, when they're sending me their videos, is they understand what a unit turn is, but they're not really using any of the benefits of, of what a unit turn can actually do for you. The biggest thing that I notice is that people will get ready and they'll turn and they got the, the hands together and so they've moved their body as a unit. But now look at my legs. My legs are completely straight. Another thing they do is they get set and they put this hand out and then all of a sudden they forget about it and they're still disarming the ball anyway as they go through it. And they're not really using any momentum in their legs, all right? So I'm gonna teach you uh, a progression that you wanna do to get to the perfect unit turn. So the first thing that we're actually gonna do is we're actually gonna start out just what I showed you. I want you to start out and feel what it feels like to have absolutely no legs, no body into it, and just have kind of fish arm here and your other hand back here and just start stroking a tennis ball. Whether you're doing shadow swings, you're working on a topspin pro, you're getting some tennis balls out, I want you to literally just bring your arm back here and feel what it feels like to just hit the ball with no body, all right? Just swinging all with your arm. That's what I want you to start out doing. Okay, the next move in the progression I want you to do is to now make a unit turn with your upper body, but still keep your legs straight up. No real legs involved, and just go in and swing through the shot. Not really using any legs, but turning the upper body, and letting your swing go and see what that feels like. All right, now, here's where we start to get into a good unit turn, a more advanced unit turn, but I'm gonna show you the best one, what all the pros are now using that Mark Kovacs calls the Coke bottle unit turn. And what he's talking about is that you're, you're basically taking the bottle cap and twisting yourself up. That's what you're trying to think of yourself like. So, the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to get into your unit turn and then you're going to sit down and then release. And you should already start to feel that as you come into the swing, that your body has a lot more momentum. So again, I'm here, I'm making the unit turn, now I'm sitting down and now I'm going, okay? But we're not, we're not done yet. Now, the final thing I want you to do and this is what Mark Kovacs taught me, is it's just not about that, but you actually wanna feel like all of this and your booty and everything, it's like you're twisting it up. And you also wanna feel like you're leaning back, like you're about to sit in a chair that's actually behind you. You just can't sit down, but you actually gotta go backwards and sit down. And when you feel this, now all of a sudden you feel really ready to strike. And this is something you gotta practice. Don't just watch this video and go, oh, that makes a lot of sense. You actually have to go out to the court and feel this. And then if you do, come back and comment and let me know what a big feeling it was from the start to the finish of doing this exercise progression I'm giving you today. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get here, I'm gonna sit down, but now I'm gonna twist back. And you see that? You see I'm coming back to you guys? Now I really feel aggressive coming out into that stroke. All right, so what I suggest is that you do that. You do that with some shadow swings, and then you do the same thing with a tennis ball. And go from the very beginning to where you're just using your arm, 
putting the ball down and swinging with your arm, okay? You'll probably feel less control, all right? And you're hitting, see, look at that. I'm 0 for 2, disarming the ball. <laughs> 0 for 3. I add a little bit of spin on there to make it. But you see, that's just the arm working. Now what I want you to do is get out a couple more tennis balls and you're going to get into a unit turn. You're gonna drop the ball, but the upper body is just working the shot, okay? Upper body is just working the shot. Not bad, okay, those felt pretty good. Next thing I want you to do, now you're getting out more tennis balls. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit down but you're gonna sit directly down. There's a seat right back here, not over there. So now here I am. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna sit down. All right, feel more aggressive. It's already a big difference. And now I'm gonna release. Okay, sit down, release. And you guys should already see that that's more aggressive. Here I am in the uniturn, sitting down, releasing through the shot. Here I go in my uniturn, I'm sitting down, and then releasing through the shot. Pretty good, those felt much, much bigger, much better. I felt my body much more involved. Now, we're gonna do the Coke bottle turn. So, think of the bottle cap. Think of your body as the bottle cap. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna sit down, but now I'm gonna twist back to you guys. So now I can really feel myself all coiled up and then releasing through the shot. All coiled up releasing through the ball. That was a lot bigger. All coil up back to you guys, releasing through the shot. I'm sitting down, I pull myself back towards the camera, really load it up, and release through the ball. A lot easier power, a lot bigger shot, a lot more momentum. So if you're watching this video and you're like me and you want every golden nugget tip, every little known secret you can get to get ahead and get to the next level, I have something for you you're absolutely gonna love. Okay, so that was just one of the tips that I got from Dr. Mark Kovacs as I went on my own Upgrade Your Forehand journey where I got a tennis lesson from the great Rick Macy who coached both the Williams sisters, Andy Roddick, Sophia Kennan who won the Australian Open this year and has been given the credit as coining the term the ATP forehand. I went down to Florida, spent $500 of my own money to take a lesson with the great Rick Macy, but I wasn't done there. Then I, then I stayed here in Atlanta and I went and took a lesson with Dr. Mark Kovacs where he taught me that tip among a couple of other great tips and he actually improved my forehand power by 20 miles an hour in less than 30 minutes. You can watch that video. And then I've got another video for you that I want you to watch where I went out and I flew out to Denver, Colorado because I was frustrated with my inside out forehand. I couldn't get that ball to go down and go through the court. And Jeff Saldenstein, former top 100 ATP pro and one of the best online instructors in the world, taught me a secret on how I could make my inside out forehand go like a rocket ship. And the reason why I did this was to upgrade my forehand so I could bring the coaching gold back home to you. And so I had it all filmed and I have it in a three part free training series where you can get a good taste of what's in there and uh, I want to give it to you right now, 100% free. What you can do is you can go to the card section, which I believe is right up here. You can also go down to the description or the comments. You're gonna see the link. You click on that link, you're gonna see a picture of me and Rick Macy, then you know and you're, in the, and you're in the right spot, and then we're gonna start training and making you a better tennis player. And so uh, that's it, guys. I hope you love this video. If you like this video, definitely give it a like. It helps the channel. If you're a tennis lover like me, subscribe so you're always catching the latest and the greatest on our channel. And we'll see you back with another video. Watch this quick commercial and sign up for the Upgrade Your Forehand Challenge free train series.